In today's video, I'll be going over how one drug can affect another drug's action in the body. These are drug interactions. Just like anything else, when you take medicines, the body tries to break them down. One of the major drug metabolizing enzymes is known as cytochrome P450, CYP, and is often found in the liver, gastrointestinal tract, and the kidney. It is responsible for roughly 80% of oxidative drug metabolism, and they're able to metabolize around 90% of the drugs that we use today. Certain drugs interact with this enzyme and affect the metabolism of other drugs, either inhibition or induction of their metabolism. This is a double-edged sword. For example, let's take two different drugs. One is metabolized by CYP, let's call this the target drug, and one is a CYP450 inhibitor. The inhibitor reduces the CYP's metabolism of the target drug. This means that there's a higher concentration of the target drug in the body. This is beneficial as it allows the target drug to have a greater effect. However, it can also be detrimental as it could lead to an accumulation of the drug in the body to toxic levels, i.e. you need a lower dose of the target drug to get the same effect. This image is a summary of the drug interactions involved with inhibitors. Now a drug inducer increases the breakdown of the target drug, decreasing its concentration in the blood and therefore decreasing its effect. Thus you need a higher dose of the target drug to get the same effect when a drug inducer is involved. A good mnemonic for remembering the enzyme inhibitors is sickfaces.com. This stands for sodium valparate, isoniazid, cimetidine, ketoconazole and fluconazole, fluoxetine, alcohol, Chlorerythromycin, erythromycin, sulfonamides, ciprofloxacin, imeprazole, metronidazole. A good way to remember the enzyme inducers is the mnemonic BS Crap GPS Induces My Rage, which stands for barbiturates, St. John's wort, carbamazepine, rifampicin, alcohol, phenytoin, griseofulvin, phenobarbitone, and sulfonylureas. Now, to remember the drugs that are metabolized by CP450, you will need to know cowpaths. The C stands for three drugs, cyclosporin, carbamazepine, and citalopram. The O is for oral contraceptive pill, and W is for warfarin. The P stands for phenytoin and protease inhibitors. The A is for acetylcholesterol inhibitors. The T stands for theophylin and tricholomus, and the S stands for statins and steroids. Thank you for watching today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get more videos. I hope you have a great day.